How's it going, all? You're watching Three Way Plays, and my name is Patrick. Today, I'm gonna get back into Fallout 4. Last episode, we helped the herbologists uh, ascend, <laughs> and um, I think Grognak feels pretty good about himself right now. <laughs> He's still got the cabbie glasses on. I think at this point, it's just become part of his attire. <laughs> And, uh, of course, <laughs> same as always, dog meat with that confused look on his face. I'd probably have the same look on my face, too, if I was walking around with this guy in a loincloth. <laughs> uh, but today, we're going to go over here and explore this uh, mansion-esque thing. Oh, no. Rad scorpions. Ah! <coughs> no! Dog meat, get him! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's, it's not, oh, there's another one there. <laughs> it's nice to see that uh, after all this time, the, these uh, scorpions still have a skull above their head. <laughs> Wait, did it? Am I supposed to get rid of my rads? Maybe? I don't know. Now that I'm thinking, I, I, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to, right? Yeah, it's going. There we go. I don't know what I'm worried about. Wow. Good job, Dog Meat. I, I am really glad that I have you on the team here. Just use a rat away. That worked a lot better than whatever it was I drunk. I don't know if I need a quest to come. That's not. That's not. That's not the right door. I don't know if I need a quest to come in here or not. Uh, we're gonna figure this out here in a second. I, I thought it was just once I entered it. Dumb experience me buy tickets, please. I, I I don't have a ticket. I don't have a ticket. No admission without a ticket. See if I can get the employee discount. I'm an employee. I get in for free. Enjoy your visit hey. to the Finally, <laughs> something Grog Neck did. Our spray <laughs> painting the animatronic <laughs> models is prohibited. The bloody. Oh, I, I maybe maybe this might help. It's probably a little quiet, wasn't it? Let me just move the mic a little bit closer. Is that a little bit better for everybody? Can you hear me now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Shut up, Patrick. Shut up. The story of the Grandchester Mystery Mansion begins with Morticia and Hannibal Grandchester. <laughs> Morticia nearly dies, giving birth to their only child. That was Lucy. creepy, right? Hannibal never wanted a child and resents the young girl for the near death of his wife. Please proceed to the next room. So, I think on this episode, I'm going to go ahead and let this play out story wise. Uh, instead of skipping through a lot of the stuff, I think this might actually be pretty interesting. I like, you know, mystery and horror stuff, so if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know. <laughs> Plus, it's been a while, so I don't totally remember. I don't like the fact that... As a young child, Lucy proves difficult for her elderly parents. Is that Lucy? In this very room, her mother read her stories by Shelley and Paul, and histories of the Borgias. With no friends to speak of, she would capture small animals to play with. Their skin were found nailed to the undersides of the furniture. Gross! <laughs> Guests are not allowed to remove items as souvenirs. Gross! Please proceed Something to the sick. next room. Sick, sick, sick individual. <laughs> Morticia was soon convinced her daughter was... Hey, I'm listening to this! He could beat the evil out of her. 
I don't see what the problem is with that. Hold on, I hear a heartbeat. <laughs> the bad thing about drinking Nuka Colas is I get those caps. I, as long as I don't get to a hundred, I think I'll be okay. I, I just don't want no caps on me. And I, I, like I said, I don't think I can actually drop them for them to really count. I think I have to actually uh, get rid of them. Very old. Taking the advice of her psychic, she persuaded Hannibal to build fireplaces to drive the spirits from it. We are not responsible for injuries of any guests attempting to crawl into the fireplaces. Or we just shut it off. Please proceed to the next room. I mean, that is pretty dangerous. <laughs> I mean, would you really have that in a tour? I feel like somebody could really get hurt with that. Morticia's psychic insisted that Lucy could be saved by driving out her evil spirits. Rooms such as this one were built to confuse the spirits, making it more difficult for them to find Lucy. One morning, Hannibal came in here to find a doll that looked suspiciously like him, swinging from a noose. Wow, that's creepy. Climbing on the ceiling furniture is strictly prohibited. Please proceed Don't worry, dog to meat. the next room. Don't you worry, dog meat. If anything happens, you're, you'll be the first to get the axe. <laughs> he saw me. <laughs> he saw Dog meat, you. I wanted him to come into this room so I could get him without starting the conversation. Hey, whatever happens to you. Whatever. Who cares? You just take it. You just take it. <laughs> I don't think they're... Your attempted escape is only making Whatever. things worse. you quit when Lucy put ice in the This is also where Lucy first attempts to I want to listen to this. Stay out of range of the swing. Guests are asked to refrain from using the kitchen spoons as swords and dueling with them. Why am I picking things up? Hey, there's blood in the fridge. Oh, wait, that's blood on the... It's probably the dogs are mine. Come on, dog meat. Come on, here, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. You're gonna waste it. You're gonna waste it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come on, put your put your muscles to work, Grognak. <laughs> the point. The point where I just walk in, I'm like, oh, oh my. <laughs> and like, it doesn't click up here. It doesn't click there yet <laughs> until I start getting shot at. That's what I'm like, oh, it's, I gotta move. <sighs> That's for you. <laughs> move. You pass back through the parlor. Notice the stairway going nowhere. This was yet another attempt by Morticia to confuse the evil spirits well, I'm possessing already confused. her daughter. Oh, that stairway. It is not permitted to dangle small children over the railing as you proceed to the next room. What, what about large dogs? <laughs> Madame Scarlatta conducted seances in this room for Morticia in an attempt to drive the evil spirits from her daughter. Lucy would sit in the room above this one and knock on the ceiling during seances. Why is everything getting all wavy? Madam Scarlatta once accused the little girl of trying to push her down the stairs. 
There is no need to be scared. Modern science has proven that ghosts are not real and seances are fake. Yay when for modern Grand science, Chester right? When the Mystery Mansion was sold at auction, several trick candles were found here. God! Let's proceed to the next room. I was like, why is it why is it getting wavy? Is it gas? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was gas. <laughs> cinched all the rest of the the, the cinched <laughs> cinched the last two hairs off of Grogsnack's chest. Now it's just permanently bald. In this scanners detecting <laughs> You see that little kid running? <laughs> Really couldn't just replicas of these items may be purchased in the souvenir shop. <laughs> Take it right in the forehead. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. That's he's bulletproof right there in the forehead. Trust me, this axe would have done a lot of damage earlier. <laughs> is attempting to evade when capture beginning pursuit <laughs> those are either grenades or testicles <laughs> after impaling yeah! his foot on a rusty spike that was mysteriously <laughs> driven into his shoe Hannibal came to Lucy's room to punish her for the Sorry. prank. Sorry, dog meat. <laughs> we'll never know for sure how it happened, but he was found with a pair of scissors driven through his eye and into his brain. Gross. Lucy claimed she was holding them in self-defense as he tried to beat her with his cane. She said he tripped and fell onto the scissors. When asked why his fingers had all been cut off, she replied that it was so he couldn't hold the cane again. Makes sense. Lucy's mother was found dead in the master bedroom with a cloth doll stuffed in her mouth. Wrists had rope burns, but no ropes were ever found. Lucy insisted that the doll was solely responsible because Morticia wouldn't give her a kiss goodnight. Creepy. Lucy was committed to an asylum. On her 18th birthday, she escaped. Nine don't be scared. Don't, don't later, be scared. She was found hanging in the attic, dead from an apparent suicide. Apparent suicide? Please proceed to the next room. How the hell did you survive? I don't know who you are, Zachariah, but you're gonna take this axe multiple times to your skull. No bottle caps. No bottle caps. I'll take everything else. You know what? After you're dead, I'm going to just leave you naked for everybody else to look at you and laugh. <laughs> Don't think I can pick this. But I want to. Didn't I get a key? Didn't I get a, uh, got a key to get out of here? Does that go up to the... Ain't there an attic? Is there not going to be a way for me to get through that master lock? I want to Locked get in there. Tight. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I want to go up there. But it is a master lock. Uh, most of the places that exist in Nuka World have a key somewhere. So I don't know if this is just a stupid idea or not. He had a key, but it led me outside. It didn't help me. So I'm going to go back through. I think there's probably a couple other doors that I can go through. Um... 
with the key that I picked up, I'm, I'm thinking maybe. I'm not 100%, I guess, really. So I'm going to uh, explore a little bit and see if I can't happen across that key. So I'm going to take everything and probably be over encumbered. If I can't find it, I really want to get up there. I might have to go back and get Kate, see if she can't do it for me. I don't remember if she has the ability to do master or not. But I, I really want to get up into that attic. So I'm going to just kind of probably cut a lot of this out. Uh, I'll probably cut back in if, you know, weird stuff happens. If Krognak can't do it, get somebody else that can. <laughs> Let's go, Kate. I'm a Krognak girl in a Krognak world. <laughs> she could... Come on, Grognak, let's go party. Where you at, Kate? Oh, is it because I didn't hold the door open for you? I hope this works. I've got lockpicks and if she needs more. Can you do it? This one might be rough. Don't get your hopes up. I hope you aren't counting on me to open this lock. Hey, she got it. I got it. All right, stare at their dog meat. Dog trash. <laughs> That's creepy. Well, that's just not creepy, and it's ah, <laughs> a haunted, perhaps. Okay, whatever. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna argue or even talk or uh, acknowledge that. <laughs> just kind of looking around. I know there is something special somewhere in here. Not that I'm probably ever going to care about it or use it. Oh, not going to be able to get through that door. Yeah, there's a magazine. Bingo. I'm not trying to actually collect all these. I just know that if I'm in that area, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up just to have it anyway. But it is it is what it is, I suppose. I believe that's it for this place. Why did I pick up more Uh, I like this. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> Come on, let's let's hey. go. I like this place. It was pretty neat. I'm a little disheartened, but it doesn't really matter uh, that I had to bring Kate in and kind of um, interrupt the immersion a little bit. What immersion? It's just <laughs> just a bundle of <laughs> garbage. <laughs> but I, I still wanted to get into the attic. I still wanted to. Uh, finish out the rest of this house. There's I, there's not a quest for it, it's just something to explore, but it was a really neat place to explore anyway. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here while Grognak's chest is getting all glistening in the rain. <laughs> I did enjoy playing this. It wasn't a quest, even though it felt like one. Right there at the end, I had to bring Kate in to open up that master lock so I could finish it out and get up to the attic so I could see that creepy girl walk through that door and disappear. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about it. Let me know what I did wrong. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep them subscriptions coming. It does help us out. But I want to say thank you for watching and take care. So I wanted to kind of throw this on to the end of this video. I reloaded it because I wanted to see something I was reading about. That you're able to see that girl that you kind of follow through this mansion uh, before you even get started. So I'm going to try to make it over to where she's at. And you guys can watch me fail miserably. <laughs> but I need to get up over. All I've done was go around to the back side of where the... Uh, Scaffolding was get up on the roof jump over it and I believe the windows are right here
God, that was kind of creepy. That is so creepy. Talk to her. Well, hello. You got nothing to say to me, do you? I can't target you. I can't pickpocket you from here. So, yeah. Like, when I was right here, I didn't see her. I didn't see nothing, right? And I wasn't paying attention to the shadow on the ground, and I'm like, I don't I don't think she's in here now. Because I didn't see her. And then I'm just like, bam. I'm like, ah! <laughs> So it looks like she's got uh, ratted clothing on. Her dress looks ratted. She's got rope around the waist. Um, but yeah, there she is. I just wanted to kind of throw that in there because I was kind of reading about that you're actually able to see her up close without her moving if you do this. Uh, I don't have any clipping abilities on to be able to walk through these walls. But there she is. And all she is called is just girl. So yeah, I just wanted to throw this on at the end of the video. So that way it gives you a little bit more of an insight of what she looks like and how you can actually access it to see her before you get started in the mansion. I reloaded a save prior. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care.